Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you were wondering if you could use Blender as a drawing app, well, you can. We are going to take this concept art and turn it into this 3D animation. So stick around for the full series, guys, as we take this concept art and turn it into a full-blown 3D animation. Hey guys, I've helped a lot of students get started in animating, so let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so the first thing I'd like to do is go ahead and get a pencil so that we can start sketching out. Get my uh, color red, my material, and then get a layer going for the sketch. I'm going to turn down the opacity on what I had of the reference I had up there and then start sketching in the sketch um, layer. First, I'm going to just draw a simple skeleton, guys, the head, the spine, the hip, the knees, and then the shoulders, the elbows, the hands, and then the feet. Just a regular little skeleton so that I can pose the character. As I start to draw this, I am going to add a center line to the head and draw out the eye line and then start adding volume to my skeleton. I'm going to draw the neck, the chest, the shoulders, the arms, and the hips. And then as we draw this, we start adding a little bit of detail in the arms, a little bit of detail in the shirt, the eyes, the mouth. We're going to do maybe a little bit of the hair, start stylizing the hair, uh, and then go back to add volume to the legs. Uh, and then the pants, where the pants fall, what kind of shoes he's wearing, all that stuff. Just start drawing stuff uh, here in this. This is just sketch, guys. Remember that you're just sketching ideas. And so keep it loose, keep it fun. What are we doing? Is he wearing a t-shirt? Is he wearing pants or shorts or what? Now I am going to start the inking process. I'll do another layer, do the same thing reduce the opacity of my sketch layer I'm gonna get a pen and then I'm gonna start drawing the ink layer uh, and just follow the sketch follow the sketch you know the the face the eyes the ears do the hair and you figure out how you want to prioritize what you draw but I kind of like to draw from top to bottom and so I'm drawing the hair you know get the shoulders done right here I need to get the arms done and the fist because he's got the the hands clenched in fist the shirt and then the other arm and then just remember to keep this loose it's always like you see me do one and then undo 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 until I get that line straight the way I want it. You see that? Just draw the line. You don't like it. Undo and then do it. Do it again until you do like it. Uh, it sometimes it takes two or three turns, but it's it's worth it when you get that good line that you like. Here I'm done with the inking, and the next step is to add color. Now I'm going to add a layer for the color. And of course, I need to start adding my material, my colors. So I'm going to pick a, a material for the skin, and I am going to just start drawing. Remember, this material has no stroke. It's just the fill. So I need to start drawing shapes to cover the entire area. So remember, at the first, we were drawing the lines, and now we're drawing the shapes. And if you need to adjust it, you can use the sculpt tool to adjust the shape. So remember the shape, the, the shape of the neck. Uh, you can always go back and adjust the color. Not a big deal. See, you don't have to do the entire shape in one. Here I did it in three. Uh, you can see that little thing in the arm and then do the whole other thing. The arm, the lower arm. And so you don't have to do the entire shape all at once. You can break it up into sections. Here I've got the t-shirt. Um, I've got that color of the t-shirt and remember you can always go back and change the color not a big deal But here I'm trying to do the entire shape and I didn't do it So I kept it at that and then did that final piece 
like I said, it's not a big deal. And you can always change the color whenever you'd like. I'm going to do the pants, but I'm going to do them in sections because this is a big shape. So I'm going to do like that section. And then I'm going to do this section. Not a big deal, guys. It's, you know, have fun with it. Don't stress out over this big shape that you have to trace over. Not a big deal. And then there, the pants are done. Um, let's go ahead and get the shoes done. So uh, I'm gonna add another material, make it red, and then draw the shape for the shoe. Again, if you need to adjust it, you can use the sculpt tool and adjust your shape. It's not a big deal. Do the other shoe. And then the shoelace. It's just another shape on top of the shape that you've already drawn. Here I'm going to do one for the sole of the shoe separate just in case I want to change color. Uh, and you'll see me change color here in a minute. Adjust your shape. I'm going to change the color to the sole of the shoe, make it a little lighter. I made the pants a little lighter and now get the hair done. Again, pick the color that I want, create a material and then start drawing the shape. One, two, not a big deal. Just two, two uh, sections and then we've got everything drawn and colored. And the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a background guys. So first thing I want to do is create the material for the background and then I'm going to put it in its own layer. Here I am getting the material and I'm going to do a new layer. Right there, create just a box and then have it on its own layer. Um, next I'm going to try to do is the shading and so I want to do a shade and then I'm going to make it multiply for the opacity and so I'm going to draw the shaded part of the face underneath the eyebrows and in the ears but then I'm going to shade all of it um, the neck underneath the neck the shadow that the head is casting on the shoulder, the shaded part underneath the arm, and on this part of the body. Go through it and shade all the parts that you need to shade, everything that is in shade. We're just doing the shaded parts uh, underneath the arm, underneath the shirt, uh, in the shaded part of the leg. And all I'm doing here guys is creating the shape. I'm drawing the shape and laying it right on top of the color. And so now that we've got the shaded parts, we're going to continue with the highlights. I took a white color in the material and I added a layer highlights with a blending mode of hard light uh, with the opacity of one. So anything I draw is going to have the hard light blending mode. And so you can do this with the layers. That's why it's so important to add all your layers. Uh, anyways, I'm going to draw exactly where I think the light is hitting uh, right here in the hands the face the shirt anywhere where it uh, the light should be hitting it remember the light is coming from the left to right and all I'm drawing is again exactly like the shadow the shaded areas I'm only drawing the shapes uh, but I'm drawing them opposite of where I put the shading so here i'm just going to draw it on the other side of the shoe other side of the leg and then we're done with the uh highlights i'm going to work on the background for a minute i'm going to i think i want to do a gradient the gradients are a little bit weird you have to kind of finesse where you want that gradient make it a radial gradient and then you can go ahead and pick the colors swap out the colors and then get the colors exactly how you want them. Um, make it, I'll, I'll make it a little bit uh, not as 
bright, just a little dark, uh, very little bl uh, blend between the gradient colors. And then finally, I'm going to draw um, shape for the shadow that the character is casting on the floor. Um, I think I just drew a bunch of shapes and then I didn't like it, so I, I squeezed it. I just scaled it in the Y. Um, I had a, a, a layer, locked all my layers, and then I was able to select only the shadows and then just scaled it in the Y. And I think that was it for the um, shadow. Um, all I did next was fill in the blacks of the eyes. Just fill in the, the shape um, with black. And then I created a little tiny uh, highlight for the eyes. Uh, I just used white and I just put it on the highlights and added a white little uh, speck for the specular highlight for the eyes. And so that's it. We took this concept art and illustrated it solely in Blender. So it can be done. We can illustrate and draw in Blender, use it as a drawing app. Uh, in the next uh, couple of videos, we're going to be modeling the dojo for this character. And then we're going to do the character next after that. So if you like the video, guys, go to my website, subscribe to my email so we can stay in touch. Hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.